Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about divisibility tests. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Now you may have seen this before, this is a beginning process here of understanding factory, which we'll learn later. But we want to determine if a number is divisible by another number. And so for the first basic numbers we have here, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 10, we have some basic rules that we can follow to quickly, well, see if these numbers are divisible by each one of these numbers, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 10. Now eventually this will just become second nature and you won't even think about it. The first one here is 2. If a number is divisible by 2, that number must end in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Pretty simple. 3. Now this one's a little trickier. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. And we'll see an example of that in a minute. 5. A number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is 5 or 0. That's a pretty simple one. A number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. It's got to be both of them, which makes sense because 2 times 3 is 6. Lastly, easiest one in my book, a number is divisible by 10 if it ends with 0. So let's go try a number here. What about the number 5,625? 5, is that divisible by 2, 3, 5, 6, or 10? Let's go find out. Well, is it divisible by 2? Well, is the last digit a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8? No. The last digit is a 5, so the answer here is... Well, no, it's not divisible by 2. That's okay. What about, well, 3? Well, is the sum of the digits divisible by 3? So let's go add that up. What's 5 plus 6 plus 2 plus 5? Well, 5 and 6 add up to be a good old 11, plus 2 plus 5 is a 7. We add them together. 11 plus 7 is an 18. 18 divided by 3 is a good old, well, 6. Make sure I'm within my window here. So yes, right here, can I put that in? But yes, right here, yes. The number is divisible by three because we added each one of these digits, came to 18, divided that by three, and got a six. What about five? Is the number divisible by five? Yes or no? Well, is the last digit five or zero? It's a five, so yes. Last digit is five. Got it. Next one here is the number here, 5,625 divisible by 6. Well, is it both divisible by 2 and 3? The answer is no, because it's not divisible by 2. Not 2, but yes, 2, 3. But doesn't matter, we needed both. So in this case, no, it's not divisible by 6. And lastly, what about 10? Is 5,625 divisible by 10? Well, does it end in a zero? No, it does not. So that's a no. Ends in a five. And so our number, 5,625, is only divisible by, well, we said three and five. The other digits here that we were asked, two, three, five, six, or 10, well, or the other digits, <laughs> two, what was it, two and six and 10, were not divisible. Uh, 5,625 5, was not divisible by them. I hope you learned something here about the basics of the divisibility test and to see if a number is divisible by two, three, five, six, and 10. And these are great building blocks as you learn the course of well, algebra. So as always here, thanks for watching.